Okay, hi everybody. This is another demonstration of the Paya 2720. Today I am running the Paya with a Korg SQ1 because it's a linear um, output. I have a special cable here which is basically uh, two control voltages to ground of the Paya unit. Uh, I've got the Paya set up as a dual voice and um, Let's see what it does. So I've got control voltage coming out to oscillator A and B, and then I've got gate coming into the uh, BCA. So you can change. the gate of the sequencer of course uh, if you're not familiar with the SQ1 as you can see it can do 16 steps or it can do A and B C V output and gate output uh, it does linear which is 8 volts which is hertz per volt or it can do 5 volts, volts per octave, or 2 volts, volts per octave, or 1 volt, volt per octave. Uh, it can, it's got some chords here, some scales, I guess you should say. Minor, major, and uh, chromatic. It's got different... Um, sequence functions it's battery operated It can also be plugged in USB to the computer and then used as a control voltage out to your linear gear, which is kind of cool. Um, and as you can see, um, I do have this thing set up. One thing that I kind of don't like about this is that there are no detentions set on these potentiometers. So you've got to kind of tweak your way into whatever you're trying to get to. Um, detention on these uh, encoders would have been, or potentiometers would have been nice. Um, Also being able to store more patterns would be nice. Uh, I've only had this for about a couple of days, so I'm not really sure of all its functionality. But um, it is proof of concept that my Pi 2700 can actually have a range, track a range of more than a couple of octaves uh, and stay in tune. So that's all I got for now.